Hello, good people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The Nigerian Indigenous Nationality Alliance for Self-Determination, a group that just recently conducted a protest in UN General Assembly in New York, has finally responded to the statement made by Gaba Shehu, the President Buhari's spokesperson. Don't forget that Gaba Shehu had told him that they will not be taken seriously uh, because of their collaboration with IPOB. You're going to hear the content of their reaction. And they have also promised Buhari what they're going to do when he will be addressing the UN General Assembly come September 24th. We're going to look at all of that and their response about their collaboration with IPO. But before we do all of that, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. All right, according to the news, the Nigerian Indigenous Nationality Alliance for Self-Determination, Ninas, has reacted to a statement by presidential spokesperson Gabashe was saying they cannot be taken seriously as long as they associate with the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP. In a statement sent out on Wednesday, Nina's spokesman Maxwell Adeleye clarified that the group has nothing to do with IPOP and should not be seen as such. Adeleye said the Nina's Million Man March is already a success, adding that the group Await President Muhammadu Buhari visit to the United States. According to him, I quote, he said, The Nina's Million Man Freedom March is a success. It really rattled the Buhari government. The Nigerian government is now begging the media not to cover our event, trying to paint our march as an IPOP event. This is a divide and rule tactics that has failed. Ninas has nothing whatsoever to do with IPOP. We should now prepare for the 24th September 2021st when Buhari will address the General Assembly to stage another march. Mm. It has earlier been reported how the Nigerian government reacted to the ongoing protest by Ninas at the United Nations headquarters in New York, United States of America. Members of the Nigerian Indigenous Nationality Alliance for Self-Determination stormed the UN headquarters in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday, urging world leaders to facilitate the conduct of a referendum in Nigeria. The Coalition of Agitators for Self-Determination consists of Southerners and Middle Belt people under Alana Omohodwa, Lower Nigeria, Lower Niger Congress and the Middle Belt Movement, led by Professor Banji Akintoye, Tony Nani, and Yusu Turaki, respectively. The presidency has, however, attacked Yoruba nation agitators, saying they cannot be taken seriously as long as they associate with the indigenous people of Biafra Ibo, which it accused of committing many atrocities. The statement signed by President Sharp spokesperson Gaba She one Wednesday said, for Nigerian diaspora group to use the world's largest platform, the United Nations General Assembly, to garner attention to their causes is not unexpected. It was, however, shocking to see Yoruba nations advocates yesterday unequivocally threw their lots in with indigenous people of Biafra. IPOP is a designated terrorist organization. It has now publicly revealed a 50 man, a 50,000 strong paramilitary organization. It regularly murders security service and innocent civilian with a significant upstick of violent attack this year. And it is currently attempting to hold Nigerian state hostage with order to stay at home under threat of terror. Without doubt, Nigeria and the entire world would judge Yoruba nation by the company it keeps. No one can take seriously this organization if it continues its hype of association. When their allies systematically trample human rights, it raises sober questions about their claim to uphold the values of the UN. 
The cooperation is a worrying development once pairs with the Yoruba nation increasingly violent rallies in Nigeria. Actions and associations speak louder than words. Yoruba nations' talk of human rights promotion must therefore be ignored. Hmm. So Yoruba nations' talk of human rights promotion must therefore be ignored. Meanwhile, the Nigerian government will continue its work at the UN to fight against corruption and illicit financial flows and international cooperation if we want to see stolen funds return to their rightful home in Nigeria. The government must continue to campaign for and coordinate global action on asset recovery. The government will remain the leading regional actors in the fight against global terror, particularly against trade emanating from the Sahel. Through the Nigerian Technical Aid Corp program, the country also shares technical expertise with countries from the Caribbean, Africa, and Pacific. At the same time, the administration is implementing a program of environmental sustainability to combat development which destroy Nigerian community in vulnerable region. Only through the 2030 Agenda on Sustainability Development can we secure a prosperous future for Nigeria. As the largest country in Africa, the government takes seriously its leadership rule and will continue to strive for continental unity cooperation and shape prosperity. Our expectation is therefore for the media to work with the government to focus attention on the core issues the president, the leader of the country, has on his programs. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. This is um, the response by the Nigerian Indigenous Nationality Alliance for Self-Determination. Ninas is um, such a threatening one to the president. I, I, I can't really predict how it will look like for this group to protest in UN General Assembly when President Muhammadu Buhari will be addressing the assembly. Don't forget that this, this thing was said many months ago. They had already planned it out many months ago that they will be reacting in UN General Assembly. Now, the expectation was that the Nigerian government would call them and talk to them and then create at least a standing point for both of them. But unfortunately, that never happened. And right now, I mean, what is happening is a huge embarrassment to the country. And is an indication that um, what other agitating groups, for example, IPO have been doing, is absolutely true, you know. And um, right now, for me, it's a wrong time to try to call them to come into any form of negotiation because this would have been done long time ago. I, I don't know how UN General Assembly will respond to this, but don't also forget that Nigeria is a sovereign um, country. It has its own rights. And um, UN, I don't know if this will force them to ask the president some salient questions about the reason why you know, self-determination groups are not being granted an opportunity to prove whether they want to stay or they do not want to stay. However, I would like to leave it there. 24th of September, President Muhammad Buhari will be addressing the UN and the Yoruba agitator says it's going to be a day they will be striking out. What do you think will happen if that becomes the case? Let's interact in our comment session.